What up, YouTube? Puff Bear 359. All right, fellas, here we go. Going to make a mail day. Um, got some cards in the mail the last couple days, a couple, two, three days there. Um, Going to start off by saying um, a couple of things. First, I poured myself a little bit of, uh, since Puff is off for the next four days, I was off last night, now I'm off Friday, Saturday, and Sunday night. Don't have to go back into work until Monday night, third shift. Um, that's pretty cool. I am upstairs in the kitchen, uh, which is a little different for me. I figured I'd just uh, try a different location. Not a big deal. I'm um, just uh, doing that. Poured myself a 24-ounce uh, uh, beer um, right there. And I want to commend Budweiser because uh, I absolutely uh, think these are pretty cool. <laughs> on the Budweiser can, they got the uh, King of Beers, uh, the crown logo on the top of their uh, red pull tab kind of deal thing, which is... Uh, Pretty neat. Uh, for all you guys under 21, disregard the last uh, 20 seconds of this uh, video. <laughs> Salute, everybody. Good luck, health, happiness. All right. Uh, first off, I want to start by saying um, you guys have seen this card probably before um, in my mail or on one of my. Uh, previous videos, this is the uh, Sam Bradford uh, numbered 61 of 100 rookie red zone autographs from Top Certified um, 2010. Pretty cool card, uh, it's in very good shape. Um, pro um, but th this corner up here, it's not dinged or nothing like that. But you, uh, this corner, um, it's black on the background. Sometimes when they outline a border a card in black you could see a little bit and it looks like there's you could see a little bit I think that probably came from the factory like that but anyway nice card so this is for sale or for trade um, if it's a red ink obviously you could see that I'll uh, just throwing that out there just to uh, show you um, what else I got um, I got those in the mail but I can't show you those I got these from ML Foster uh, he sent me this just because um, 1990 score rookie and um, rookie uh, and traded set, 110 players. Uh, sealed box, very nice. So uh, he sent me that. So thank you, Michael, for that. I appreciate that a lot. Um, you saw my previous video with the Puff Bears back video. Um, you see in that video that uh, I had a stack of cards, uh, Yankee Stadium Legacies. I didn't know who they were from. Uh, they were from Bobby. <laughs> AF Cop 13. And I apologize to that, but so he sent me about 35 or 40 uh, Yankee Stadium Legacies in there, which I appreciate. He knows. And they sent me the uh, error card of uh, Jeter with Mickey Mantle in the dugout and uh, George W. Bush uh, in the stands. For those that don't know, there's Mantle and there's uh, George Bush. So that's from 2007 Tops. So uh, thank you very much, Bob. I am actually, I don't, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure... That they have a I, do they have a Chrome version of this? If anybody knows that, let me know. Um, I don't know if they just made the error. This uh, this uh, card. Oh, you're welcome, honey. Made the girls some macaroni and cheese for lunch for the win, and they're in the uh, dining room eating. So uh, anyway, uh, is there a top Chrome for this? That's Puff's question. I should probably go look, and I could probably find the answer out myself. But I'll give you guys something to do. Uh, next, I got a just because from. Daddy, let's see here, Big Daddy, oh, wait, wrong one, over, Daddy 18, uh, Daddy 1824, that's it, um, Daddy 1824, um, he's a fireman, um, I'm a cop, he's a fireman, go figure, so, uh, uh, Puff, I know it's not much, but here are a couple of cards just because I don't need a vid or a plug or you to hit me back. Uh, I've been through hard times and hope this uh, can bring a little joy to your day. Uh, I asked Polly who you PC. Uh, he said Boomer, which is Boomer Esiason, uh, Johnny Flynn, and uh, were two guys that you liked. From one civil servant to another, I hope you enjoy these. Frank, Captain, Captain Frank, Captain Diaz for the win. And this is number 19 of 1824. So Daddy, 1824. Guys, go check them out. Uh, give them a sub. Uh, I'd appreciate that. That would be pretty cool. So, um, very nice. Um, so let's see what he sent me. I'm all over the place here. 
I'm going nuts because our freaking uh, one of our cats is in heat and the freaking thing is all over the joint here, howling and screaming and kept me up all night last night and didn't keep me up for that reason. But uh, make the jokes, make the jokes. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, Boomer Sison, look at that from uh, Classic Pro, uh, Pro Line. Uh, Boomer Sison, three sixty six of seventeen hundred, right down there. A nice Boomer autograph in his Jets uniform. Uh, congratulations, you received a limited edition nineteen ninety five Classic Pro Line autographed card. Nice, very nice, man, Frank. I love this. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, and then he sends me a oh, beautiful um, from classics uh, Johnny Flynn um, Rookie autograph that is on card and that is beautiful uh, 290 of 499 So uh, that is freaking sweet very nice. Uh, I appreciate that that'll go on my Johnny Flynn PC and uh, very very nice so uh, Again, that's daddy 1812. I appreciate it. Gotta have a sip. Hold on. All right, next. Um, I got another mail day. I mean, another um, this is an eBay purchase actually from um, my buddy Ed Ace Fan Seven. Um, check him out on eBay. Um, he's Robo Forty Four R O B O Four Four. That's his eBay link. Um, and anytime a friend of mine or anybody asks me um, that they're selling stuff on eBay, I will do anything I can to help you out. Um, I'll bid on some cards for you guys. I see anything kind of cool, I'll, I'll buy it. Just like I did for Ed, because none of these are my PC, but I like the cards, so I bought them. Um, so, anyway. Um, Doug Flutie from National Treasures, 17 to 99 Sorry for the glare, guys. I got different-ass lighting in here, but uh, what are you going to do? Uh, as a bill, Doug Flutie. Always, always like Doug Flutie. Um, if you guys remember back in the day, I don't remember what year it was, um... When he uh, with the catch, uh, when he was um, for Boston College, I believe he was playing against Miami, right? When he did the catch, um, I watched that whole game with my dad that Saturday afternoon from start to finish, um, and that's great because I have a bunch of memories uh, of sports memories with my dad. Um, so, and one of our things was always watching NASCAR on CBS on uh, Sundays together, and uh, we'd watch certain games and. Uh, one thing about my dad, he always said, you always watch a game to the end. So we um, we would always kind of do that together. Um, so that was awesome. Um, but I remember the catch. I watched the whole game. I jumped out of my seat when uh, Phelan caught that ball in the end zone. Um, but that was pretty cool. So I have a fond memory of uh, Doug Flutie and the catch, if you want to call it the catch. I think that's what it was called. So that was awesome. So anyway, to make that long story longer, uh, keep moving on here. Um, this is a nice uh, piece of the jersey in there. Um, Doug Flutie I got from Ed um, and then I got this Mel Ott 11 of 50 um, how do you go wrong with a Hall of Famer uh, piece of the bat um, is that a piece of the bat or is that a piece of the jersey let's see uh, memorabilia that looks like a jeez it is a jersey but it could be a bat hmm uh, memorabilia so that's got to be a piece of the jersey man that looks like a piece of wood right there there's grain in it or that's an old ass faded jersey and you can hear the cat in the background princess put it away um so shame on me for not knowing what the hell that is and uh hold on one second i'm with you stay with me stay with me stay with me people Stay with me. Um, all right. So, uh, and then next I bought from Ed was a Sean Merriman triple patch, uh, number 28 of 30 um, from Exquisite. Um, you know what? I don't remember what the prices were on these. I think I think I bought the Flutie for like 11 I think the Mel Ott was like around there too. 10 12 maybe $14, $15, $15 maybe. And I think this was around the 15 16 dollar range but i don't remember so uh i apologize for that um but triple patch this is sweet things are popping out of there um so excellent 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 thank you ed again that's ace fan seven you guys all know ed's my buddy 
Um, and like I said, his eBay link is ROBO44, Robo44. There's that. Um, another eBay purchase that I got uh, for the set I'm doing. Guys, if you didn't know, I'm doing the Leaf Limited Phenom's Rookie Set. I picked up this Beanie Wells. Wells. I've been watching this card forever. It was buy it now for uh, $39.99. Um, well, free shipping. Um, took the guy a while to get it to me, but that's all right. Um, four of 149. Um, so I just finally broke down and said, let me get this. Because I saw other ones on there for like buying it now, $79.99. Another guy had one for $60. Bucks. Uh, actually, a couple guys had some over $100. Um, so I went with the $40 purchase here um, for the set. Uh, I will do an update on that because I got a couple more to go. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, then I have, uh, this just came in the mail today. I bought this a lot of cards on eBay, L-O-T, hey, be dookie, um, uh, from 2010 Bowman Sterling. I didn't get really I didn't go crazy, uh, starting that set yet, uh, for 2010 Bowman Sterling. So, uh, this is kind of like my, um, breaking the silence, getting into getting these cards for, um, this year's Bowman Sterling set. Uh, anyway, uh, Kelly, Kellen De Deglin, auto... And that a refractor? Yes, that's a refractor. Um, Justin Wilson autograph. Um, Mike Olt. Mike Olt auto. Chad Bettis auto. Seth Blair auto. Taylor Lindsay auto. Um, and then I... Yeah. Oh, and the funny thing is, I bought these in a lot. And I just actually bought this card from Ed... Um, I didn't know it was in the lot, so I got two of them now. So, uh, Taylor Lindsay for the Angels. What up, uh, 22 Birdman? And then the, this card is a gold gold refractor. I think they're numbered to 50. Uh, no autograph, just a gold refractor. And yes, they are. This is 50 of 50. 50 of 50 there. So, uh, and I have this guy's autograph coming that I bought from another eBayer. So, so nice. There you go there. And then this guy just threw in these. Uh, throw those cards in there so there and then finally guys what we have hey take another sip hold on can puff kill the 24 ounces before the video is over hold on let me try all right here we go um michael from the autograph network Set me this um, Dave Puff Bear Schneider. That's me. He sent me a just cuz. Um, sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. Uh, I got some comments I want to say after this video. So if I don't shut it off, you want to hear what I have to say maybe. And um, about some certain things. This is a knife. That's not a knife. That's a knife. Um, I have some comments I'd like to make, but not right this second. Let's see what Michael sent me. I think we got it. Oh, it looks like a program of some sort. And there's a note. Of course, there's a note. Put this over here. Man, out of my element upstairs in the kitchen doing this, guys. It feels kind of weird, if that makes any sense. So, All right, here we go. Um, hey, Officer Puff Bear. Uh, saw this, and it screamed Puff Bear. <laughs> uh, let me lower that. No, I can leave that right there. Um, the outside cover shows some wear, but the, but the cards inside look great for being over 30 years old. I know it will find a good home with you. Hope all is well. On behalf of the community, I just want to let you know we miss you. Uh, Michael Rhodes, the Autograph Network. And there's an autograph right there. That's a very nice one. So, Michael, I appreciate it. And let's see what we got. Oh, baby, look at that. Are you kidding me? Uh, world champion, New York Yankees, yearbook 1978. Funny story about the 1978 Yankees is I was supposed to go to that World Series, and I ended up getting sick. 
Um, I was uh, seven years old in 1978 because I was born in 71, but um, I had like a bad case of the flu or whatever the hell you want to call it. You know, kids, eight-year-old kids, seven-year-old kids get sick, so... And I couldn't go, so my uncle went in my place, the prick. I mean, <laughs> no. um, I was, uh, I forgot what game it was. Game three? I don't know. Uh, but anyway, um, so very nice. Um, look at this inside here. Um, wow, these are, look at this. It's a pullout. You could actually take it out. And uh, I've never seen this before, uh, Michael, so this is fantastic. Uh, I will keep these intact, and I will get a um, holder for the uh, a magazine holder thing like to put this in. Wow, Gidry, Billy Martin, Dick Tidrow, Sparky Lyle, wow. Uh, this is pretty sweet, man. I am going to have some uh, bathroom time with this magazine, uh, and I will read the whole thing cover to cover. Um... Pretty sweet. Pretty, pretty sweet, I gotta say. Nettle. What's the matter, guys? Okay, Daddy, say, say hi to YouTube, everybody. No? Rosie, leave that alone, please. So, uh, alright, pretty sweet. I don't want to go crazy looking at this uh, on camera. But uh, this is fantastic. Uh, well, you hit a home run there, uh, Michael, because uh, I love it. I love it, I love it. Um, pretty sweet. Uh, Okay. So, all right. Um, I appreciate it. So, uh, Ace Fan Seven Ed, um, Bobby, of course, that sent me the um, uh, Derek Jeter card uh, and the Yankee Stadium Legacy from the last video. ML Foster, um, eBay dudes, um, Daddy eighteen twenty four. Um, all you guys, I appreciate it. Uh, thanks everybody for the support. I said it in my last video, but this I'm gonna go for three minutes. Make this a 20 minute video because I got to make a 20 minute video, right? Um, I got I got a couple PMs in the last uh, couple days, um, asking me to speak out. Um, I guess there's a lot of drama going on right now on YouTube and the card community. Um, well, I'll just tell you real quick my stance on all that. Um, uh, it doesn't really involve me. And I, I really think it's a shame, and I think it's too bad that uh, that is going on. Um, you guys know I've had a couple issues with some fellow YouTubers. One that has since has his account closed. But um, just all, you know, the only opinion I'm going to give on this, guys, is um, we all have that, that, that common uh, thing, and that's, uh, that's baseball cards, football cards, whatever cards you, kind of, you collect, whatever sport. Um, so that's it. So if you know you think a guy screws you over because he didn't send the right card or he didn't send the card or sent the wrong cards or I, I don't know, whatever it takes. If you get screwed over, you know, I, that's too bad. So I, I believe that guys have guys should rant if a guy screws them over for a card. Um, but, you know, go through the steps first. Send PMs. Try to get it resolved. You don't have to go... Um, you don't have to go public with uh, everything right away. You know, do what you got to do to to find a happy medium and settle the deal, um, like I did with my previous guy. I, I you know I sent about a dozen emails, PMs, and uh, then I had to do what I had to do. But um, you know, with all the negative shit going on in the world, guys, and uh, stuff in everyday life, uh, this 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 card community uh, for me and what it should be for some of you guys, I think, is uh, it's an extra. It's something fun to do. It's a hobby is actually what it is. Um, you know, some guys take it more serious than others because some guys are more involved with uh, being on blog and doing whatever. Um, hey, you know, the old saying, guys, can't we all just get along? I mean, I love doing it. I love going to card shows. I love uh, trading with you guys, you know, putting my sets together. And look at the Yankee Stadium Legacy set that I have. Well, you guys don't know because you haven't seen it, but... Uh, you know, I, I wouldn't have probably half the cards um, without you guys uh, through trades and just because and all that stuff. So, um, Princess, put it away. Um, that's the cat. She's in heat. Um, you know, put, I mean, you know, let's all just get along. You know, the name calling and all that stuff that I hear that's going on. Hey, come on. 
you know, I don't care if it's a 15-year-old kid or a 40-year-old guy or, you know, we have all the, we have a common thread, and that's, uh, that's, that's cards. Uh, let's keep it at that. Um, you know, that's just my opinion. I'm not naming names or nothing. Uh, I'm not, uh, I don't thumbs down nobody's videos. I don't say bad comments. Um, some of them videos, I guess, that are up now, I watched a couple of them, but uh, I don't leave comments on them. I keep my opinion to myself about certain people if I think they're bad or they're good or they're doing the wrong thing or the right thing. Um, like I said, if you don't, if you don't screw me over, then you don't screw me over. So I don't, I don't, I don't, it's like I'm saying this stuff in the last four or five minutes of this video and I don't want to say anything because, you know, I don't want to get involved. Puff doesn't want to get involved. Um, I really don't. I got other things going on guys that are more important than who's pissed off at who because I don't even know why they're fighting or guys are fighting, but, uh. I didn't kill it all. I got a little left in there. I did all right, though. Um, so, anyway, my take on the whole thing, guys, if anybody gives a shit, is, um, hey, can't we all just get along? Um, so, that's it. So, uh, keep collecting, guys. Um, got a big weekend for me. I'm off. I got a bunch of picnics to go to if the weather here in Connecticut cooperates with me. Um Got some more stuff coming in the mail. I hope I bought a couple of purchases and I got some. I got a bunch of just because is coming. I got some emails from some fellow YouTubers that said that they were sending me some stuff. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, a couple trades I did and all that. Um, so that's great. Um, uh, now I got to plug a couple guys. I want to plug, uh, of course, my buddy Pauly, um, D. Covelli Cards R Us. Uh, probably by the time you watch this, the it'll be. Oh, I think it's going to Sunday. Uh, he's doing a. Uh, it's it's not a. I think it's um. What is it? It's a, like a raffle. He's giving away ten dollar um ten dollars for eBay for a purchase, which uh, is pretty cool. Um, so check him out. Um, I, I plugged um Robo forty four. That's Ed. Um, all the guys that gave me stuff today and whatever, check them out. Um, let's have fun. All right, guys. Because that's what this is all about. It's a hobby. It's something to do. Pass the time. Uh, and making friends. So uh, I have gone on long enough here. And uh, shout out, of course, to my uh, man crush, Roberto. Um, you have a package coming. I, I, sent, I, I left you a voice message on your phone because you never pick up the freaking phone when I call you, you little prick. Um, that's AFCOP13 for those that don't know. Um, so, Bobby, you got a big box coming. And uh, I'm looking at something else that came in the mail for you today that I forgot was coming that I should have put in the box, but you really didn't have any room for me to fit it. So anyway, um, that's it, guys. So basically, that's Puff's mail day. Uh, Puff's little um, opinion, which you know, what the hell's my opinion worth? Um, cats in heat, princess for the loss. <laughs> Having a couple beers. The weather is pretty decent. It's been raining for the last five days in Connecticut. Literally, I feel like I'm in Mississippi. But I'm not, or New Orleans, or wherever the hell uh, it's been raining for the last month. Um, things are good. Things are going good with Puff. I'm back in action. I uh, tried to answer a bunch of PMs the other day. Uh, I'm trying to get better, guys, with replying to comments on my video and uh, all that stuff. So um, trying to find a time to do that. So anyway, now I'm going to end the video. <laughs> 25 minutes. For, I might as well go to 25, right? So what else is going on? Uh, hey, how about them Yankees? Three-game winning streak. I know you Red Sox fans and Philly fans and all you uh, anti-Yankee fans are booing me, but uh, I like the Yanks. What are you going to do? Um, that's it. So I'm going to go now. All right, guys. I will talk to everybody later. Um, let's stay positive, guys. That's what we want. We want to do here. Be positive. Uh, everybody have a great weekend. I don't know if I'll be doing a video over the weekend, probably Monday or Tuesday next week. Thumbs up, be positive, like one another, get along. If you're fighting with somebody, I don't know, have a freaking punch each other in the face and then uh, go have a beer and make up and uh, move on. All right? So uh, let's do that. Everybody be fruitful and multiply. Be happy. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Puff Bear over and out. Thanks again, everybody.